will this device edit my videos using Adobe Premiere Pro? That is the key thing. That's what this video is about. Hiker J here. This week, I'm going to be talking about the Microsoft Surface Go. Whoa, you say, Hiker J, what are you doing, man? You talk about outdoor gear and you review outdoor gear. Um, that is true. Um, but today, I'm going to be talking about a little bit of tech. This is the 8 gig version because I felt like it needed an extra little power to handle all this. I didn't think the 4 gig would be enough. So this is actually, this device is $550. I have links down below in my uh, description to my Amazon affiliate. You can check it out. And then, of course, you have to buy the keyboard to go with it. So I've downloaded the Adobe software on here. I also put Photoshop uh, so that I can do the thumbnail as well. And the idea for this is that I can take it along with all my camera gear. So I'm thinking everything I have right here is everything I need to go out, travel, take footage, take photos and do all that. Plus then go back to wherever I'm at and edit my footage and actually upload it. I just want to put it to the test. Will it work if I download Adobe Premiere Pro on this device? Will it edit videos for me in not like a laggy system? Will it actually run it smooth and can I render them and then post them and do all that? So we're going to walk through that whole test right here with this brand new Microsoft Surface Go. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a new project. And this project is basically going to be editing this uh, pants backpack that I'm just doing a little promo on where I take a pair of pants and I turn it into a backpack and then hike down to the New River Gorge in, uh, in West Virginia. So it was kind of a fun little trip and a thing to do. So as you can see, the software opened pretty quickly, which is really great. Now let's go in and grab our files. Now I left the actual files on the SD card because I wanted to see if we could edit from that. So let's drop a couple of these videos in here and see what we can do. All right, so we've got our shots all loaded in here. And now what I want to do is I want to be able to edit them. So I'm going to go ahead and go down to start dropping my clips in. And I want to start with this one where I actually drove up into the visitor center. And I'm going to pull that over. And as you can see, everything opens up. I will say that because this device is pretty small, what I do is I open up uh, everything and expand everything just so it seems a little bit bigger and a little bit easier to manage. Um, so you want to probably adjust all this uh, so that it's functional for you. Um, when you do this, you've got basically uh, enough room to do some editing. Time out for a minute. I have to jump into the video right here because once I was done filming this and I checked the actual captured footage, I was using ShareX to actually capture my screen. It was not keeping up with the frames per second. So I want to show you because I talk about how smooth it's running, but you won't be able to see it in the capture, but I do want to show you how smooth it runs. So let me turn off my light here and play this for you. This week, I'm going to be talking about how to improvise a backpack. Come on. All right, so say you're on a trip somewhere and you end up at a visitor center like this. So I just wanted to actually show you that in the preview, while you're actually editing, it runs really smooth. So now I'm going to jump back into the video and you'll see it look a little laggy, but that's because of the actual capture uh, that I used to capture the screen. So enjoy the rest of the video. All right, so far preview is great. There's no real lag on the preview, which is pretty impressive. I'm just going to cut this here and get rid of. I'm not really with the hotkeys on this yet. Um, this keyboard is kind of small, but uh, pr pretty sweet to use. So, um, show you how to make a backpack out of pants. All right, gonna stop it there. This is really just a preview, uh, preview video, like a promo video that I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna put on like IGTV, so it doesn't need to be anything great. Um, but uh, we're probably just gonna do about uh, a minute, 30 seconds to a minute type video and call it good, so. All right, now that I've got like four clips kind of lined up here, I also have a graphic that I'm gonna put at the end, which is the thumbnail for this piece. Now, when I put it in here, you can see that it is uh, way too zoomed in. So let's go up and see the effect features and see how we do with, uh, you know, shrinking and, oh yeah, no problem. Just grabbing it and shrinking it and changing its size is super simple. That worked just great. So now the thing that I'm kind of impressed with is how well this goes through playthrough. Play through. I mean, it doesn't lag at all. I mean, it's that it's at half quality, but I really think that it's quite amazing how well this is editing uh, at half quality and it's having no trouble. I do want to see. 
All right, so it is a little bit warm on the back, uh, which you can kind of expect. Really not too bad though. And it's not really drank much battery because I'm, I'm not plugged in either. So it is having no trouble managing this Adobe product, which is great because the Premiere setup is just, you just have a host of things you can do. I'm doing real basic work because that would probably be what I'd do on the fly. But as you can see, you can crop, edit, put things together and do that type of stuff. Drop, I haven't dropped music in. I need to drop music in. Let me do that next. Now I'm just pulling music from YouTube, which I don't know if a lot of people know that, but when you're looking for non-copyrighted music, you can go into your creator studio and down below where it says create on the left, you can actually grab uncopyrighted music, which is pretty sweet for your pieces. So you should certainly check it out. I have some of my favorites that I go to uh, that are, you know, work for me. They kind of have the right feel for my outdoor type of videos and uh but you can go through and find everything that is on you know totally uncovered and they're always updating it which is pretty sweet i am going to download sleepy jack that's one of my favorite ones so i will download that all right let's put sleepy jack down in here and see if we can actually drop it in and get some audio editing going on so i kind of just want it at the end here when i'm walking away Let's see, we'll put it there. And then I'll just crop it at the end here. Now this audio is usually pretty jacked high, so I'm going to drop it down a bit. Just simply grab it and, and bring it down about right there. Let's test to see how well it just uh, incorporates the audio. It's up and cinch the top. I'm gonna go get some stuff to throw in here then we're going to take on our hike, and then we're going to go hike with it. Let's see how. Okay, not bad. That did, wasn't bad at all. Now, I think what we'll do is we'll do a fade out effect on here, too, so that we drop an effect in here. Let's see well, how our when our effect tools open up here and see how well it does. All right, not too bad. It opened right up. And then audio effects, audio transition, sorry. Crossfade, yeah, we'll use this one to fade her out see how she plays at the end here oh much that was awesome that was perfect okay now that we got our video clips in here uh, graphic and also a little bit of music we're gonna try to render and see how long it'll take now this video is one minute and four seconds long so it shouldn't be very long to export it I'm gonna go right into the exporter here and uh, I what format I use I use H 264 um, that just works really well for uh, YouTube and sending things to YouTube so I'm not going to name this or anything I'm just going to export it to the desktop and see how long it actually takes to render so right now it says well already 55 seconds um, so if it keeps going at this that's pretty good that's like really quick so uh, that's pretty much like a minute to do a minute video render a minute video now it's not super graphics heavy I know that when you'd add it but I just wanted to see what this could handle when it's going through so um, and while we're doing this while this is going through if you haven't checked out my backpack uh, pants video uh, I link it up here on the up top right there uh, check it out it's a lot of fun but first let's see how this bad boy uh, renders and how clean it looks when it's all done all right the last few seconds for it to be rendered Wow, that was really quick. That basically was a minute, uh, a second for every second in the video. That is pretty darn cool. Now uh, I'm going to go down here as I put it on my desktop. This is the actual video. Uh, we're going to play it and see how clean it comes out. Hiker Jay here. This week I'm going to be talking about here it is. how to improvise a backpack. Come on. Right, so say you're on a trip somewhere and you end up at a visitor center like this. This is really clean. I'm quite happy with this this is definitely something that I would post on YouTube when I'm editing out and about and making it happen I'm very happy with this final let's get down to the music and everything and Sun transition the transition to the graphic <laughs> that's pretty great I have to tell you I'm quite surprised I knew that it would handle it the that the surface go would actually handle adobe premiere pro but i thought it would be really laggy and such but it really wasn't it was smooth it had no problem rendering that was a short video i'm sure if you put a lot more graphics and those types of things it might slow it down some more but this is a viable option for when you travel to edit your videos and post them let me know would you go for something like this something small like this that you can just take with you and edit and on the run um, is this something that you would do 
Thanks for coming along with me on this experiment. I think it was a success. Uh, if this is the first time to my channel, if you would hit subscribe and like, that would be awesome. I put out new videos every Thursday on outdoor gear and such. If you want to look at this product, you know, a little bit more, you can check out the link down below too on my Amazon affiliate in the description. Just remember till next time, life's a hike, so hike happy with a surface go. time to post this video. Thanks so much for sticking around to the end of the video. If you're new to my channel, if you hit subscribe, that'd be awesome. I put out new videos every Thursday around outdoor gear. And if you'd like to support me, you can check out my merchandise. I have my Hike Happy shirt on here uh, at my store. You can click that down below and check out the other apparel that I have. Till next Thursday, just go ahead and watch some of my other videos. <laughs>